What's up guys, this is Blaine Burns Red, and today I am bringing you a Silver Portuguese League squad builder. I am just going to get right into it because I'm watching Spurs West Ham right now, and it is at halftime, hoping West Ham pulls out the win so Everton have their chances of getting into Europe still alive somewhat if they, like, win out. Starting at left wing, we have Toscano. I pretty much bought him for his shooting, but it hasn't really worked out all that well. He only has one goal in four games for me. He's not the paciest one, but as I said, I got him for his shooting. And weak foot, four stars there. At striker, we have Hugo Vieira. He is pretty much pace, but he can also... He has he has a decent shot. He only has one goal in four games. The next player, right wing, Iturbe. Iturbe? I don't know. He is an absolute beast in this game. 90 pace. He only has 66 shooting, but he has amazing long shots with his left foot. His four, He has four-star skills as well. And as you can see, six goals from four games for 5,500 coins. I do tend to pace with him if I get mad at kids. I face a lot of Abung Lahores and Sean Wright Phillips for some reason. But he, he, he was worth every single coin of that 5,500. At the left center mid position of the three center mids, I have Hugo Leal. Obviously a very slow player, but I bought him for his passing, shooting, and dribbling. And kind of just to hold up the ball. And he has decent free kicks too, but his free kick accuracy is like something. He has like 50 free kick accuracy, but he has good shot power and good curve. The other center mid, Jamal, we definitely have a holding center mid here. Moved him up from center defensive mid. Decent passing and ball control, but pretty much just for that hold up play in the center of the midfield with 78 defending. Really good tackler of the ball and definitely worth, as you can see, I spent 350 coins and moving him up to center mid, I think was only another like 500 coins or something like that. The right center mid, we have Andre Martins, decent pace. Decent shooting, good passing, dribbling, four-star weak foot. He has a goal for me, and he's he has really good ball control and can get his way, get out of uh, tight situations when I need him to. At left back, we have Elderson. He is the, I think, second fastest left back in the Portuguese league. I wasn't going to spend something like 7,000, 7 to 10,000, I think, on the, on the faster one, and he does a perfect job for what I need him to do. The left center back, we have Manuel de Costa, and he is by far one of the best silver center backs I've ever played with. 70 pace, 75 defending. He plays like a gold, and that's exactly what I want him to do. At the other center back, we have Paulo Vinicius. Great Brazilian center back, 65 pace, 74 defending, 81 heading. He plays just exactly what I need him to hold up defense very well pairing with the Portuguese center back and I really don't know why kids don't use him instead of there's a 69 rated Brazilian center back who plays in the Russian league and whenever I face those Brazilian silver teams they always have him I don't know why they wouldn't have this gentleman right here he is awesome at right back we have Leandro Salino another Brazilian 80 pace 69 defending I don't know if he is the fastest but he's definitely the highest overall with that 80 pace and at goalkeeper we have Fabiano for Porto he is awesome he's as you can see 6-6 he has two good penalty saves i believe and the one time he does let me down is when i'm facing in a bung lahore and he pretty much just runs around him with his speed um, but i do end up beating that kid as you will see and now i will get you guys some highlights all right guys so before i get into kind of deciphering this team for you i just want to ask you guys to please leave a comment feedback whether positive or negative if you absolutely hate my videos you can tell me so. If you love them, you can tell me that as well. I just kind of want to talk to you guys and get some feedback on these videos. I've gotten a few comments and likes on, on especially the trading video I have up, but not a lot anywhere else. So if you guys could just do that, that would be awesome. And I would definitely return or uh, reply to every comment that I get on the video. But as you can see here, my striker held off about th four tackles, got the goal. And then Iturbe with that nice volley. And right there, I give up a poor penalty. Didn't really know what I was doing. I think I was trying to clear the ball, and the guy just went down for a slide tackle. But Fabiano comes up with an awesome save here to keep it 2-0. I was really happy with him. He really played like a gold. He didn't play like a silver. He's probably definitely one of the, the best Brazilian goalkeepers in the game. And I... I just wanted to go into how I actually compete with these teams and squad builders. I tend to 
I build the team and then I find myself going into the tournament level of the team I built. So with this one, I am in the silver tournament. This is the first round. I am facing a silver uh, Bundesliga side, and it was a pretty good side. It was something I hadn't really seen before, Just, but everyone's still in the Bundesliga 4-2-3-1. So you will see me go through with kind of all my squad builders trying to win the final of the tournament that corresponds to the level of the team I built. So if you watched the slow 150,000 slow squad builder I had with Inform Luca Toni and Francesco Totti, I lost in the final of the gold tournament, and that will be a reoccurring theme here as well. So I won that game 4-0. A few, I'd say maybe the the last goal there off that free kick was pretty nice. That was something I hadn't scored before. But now our next opponents, we have Sean Wright Phillips, Abung Lahore, Raheem Sterling, and inform goalkeeper Bertrand, I think. Butland is the left back for Manchester City. Or Manchester United, I'm sorry. And as you can see here, I paced for this goal. It is the 51st minute. I don't think I had a shot on net. And he was pacing with a Bung Lahore, Sean Wright Phillips, and Stur Raheem Sterling all up and down the field. And that's one thing that Iturbe gives you if you need to do that pace because I got frustrated. He allows you to do that. Now, Abung Lahore here, this is where I said the speed of the goalkeeper kind of came in as a factor. Why didn't he just go down? Why didn't he trip up Abung Lahore, give up the penalty? I don't care. Online. And then he does this. He pauses it during the celebrations. I don't know why. I found that really annoying and uh, unsportsmanlike. But that's what you come to expect on Ultimate Team. I won't make you guys watch it. He made me watch all 30 seconds of it. And here I crossed it, and I get a header from Iturbe again. I think he's something like 5'6 or 5'7, but that doesn't even matter. I've had Wellington and Dumbia score multiple, multiple headers on my 6'4, six, 6'5 six, center back, so height doesn't really matter. And that was in extra time, and he will get lucky here. I don't know why I turned my center back away. I should have just cleared it, and then a Lahore gets a header right back. So fair's fair. And this one ends up going into penalties. And it turns out in my favor if we ever get there. I have the first penalty, and as you will see, I bury it. I think he waited for me like I was going to just tap it so he could kind of guess the side because he saw the ball moving. And after two of his... He made two of his penalties after I made three, and then Fabiano comes up with the clutch save. So all I have to do is make this with that center defensive mid move to center mid, and I bury it again. So we are through the round of 16, through the quarterfinals, and on to the semifinals. And that, guys, was a very difficult game. Now this next game coming up here is against another English side. Very annoying. Had a Bung Lahore again. I think, is that Delph up there? Yes, I think so. And once again, I had to use the pace here. I could not get around his defense. I do a bit of skill and acceleration, left trigger, right trigger bullshit, as it's come to be known to me. And I get the goal from Iturbe. He is he's just something else. His agility brings just a whole other style to the game. But this guy did not hold me back, from, and he'll, all his players really... I could score on him after I got that first goal. Even Hugo Leal with a 45 pace comes in with the goal here. And this guy kind of was just doomed from the start. right? And that, But that was an 85th minute goal. And right here, I really don't know why he sent his goalkeeper out so far. It was only 2-0. It was late in the game. But you'd never want to do that. I'm going to score that all the time. So that's Cascano's, Toscano's only goal. Kind of an open net goal. And that kind of was, was just the theme of this tournament. I don't know why I face so many English teams. They just seem to permeate the sil. I never used to see that before. I could win with my Silver American side all the time. And right here, I th believe I get another goal, which is a true 90th minute goal. I powered up that chip shot more than halfway, and it kept under the crossbar. I don't know how. So Iturbe gets the brace with the chip over his goalkeeper. And guys, we are on to the finals after that.
after I almost give up. This is another 90th minute horse shit from EA, and he misses it wide. All he had to do was settle it and finesse it far post, probably, or even just power at far post. But he tried to use the near post, which is overpowered this year. So we are on to the finals. And in the finals, guys, we face, I believe, let's see here. Do not remember. Oh, yeah, this guy. 352, another Premier League side. Plus 10 all attributes cards on four of the 11 players on the pitch, making them all pretty much 80 overalls. And it became pretty apparent in the from the start of this game that he had not won the silver tournament ever. But let's just watch this awesome goal. EA, you got to be shitting me with that. Absolutely shitting me. Go down for a save, comes back off the post, off the back of the goalkeeper. I thought they fixed that somewhere in a patch. That happened to me a few times when the game first came out. But once again, I think Diakite was one of those players that had the plus 10 all attributes cards. That's why he could use his left foot to do that. And right here, I get a nice free kick that I believe was going in. He put a player on the line. He had Donny, the Brazilian Liverpool goalkeeper. Um, I think that's who he had. But he makes the dive, but the, the player looked like he got his head onto it or something. And I just wanted to show here how this guy was playing up the pitch. And then immediately, I think after he scores this one, yeah, because he scores here. Diakite again. He's up 2-0 and then proceeds to kill the clock like nothing I have ever seen before. Pretty apparent that he'd never won that tournament. Or never won the silver tournament. I sent him a message. I wasn't pissed, but I was just like, you don't want to play f fucking FIFA like this. Pass back. I have to force him to play forward. If he's really scared about it. Just don't play in the silver tournament. You're scared of my silver Portuguese league team when you have a 3-5-2 Premier League team with plus 10 attribute cards on four players. I know they're in the game. That's why people use them. It was just really frustrating not being able to get the ball. Really, really frustrating. But once again, I implore you guys to leave a comment. Leave a like. I want to talk to you guys. I want to hear what you have to say about my videos. I know this commentary ran long, something like nine minutes of highlights, so we end up losing in the final. But we will try again with the next team. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you held out this long, I'll talk to you later.